Investment strategy. Climate commitments intensify globally. On Earth Day this year, U.S. President Joe Biden pledged to cut U.S. emissions by 50 to 52 percent by 2030 in the latest step up in Washington's commitments to fight climate change. Several others, including Japan, Canada and Brazil, also announced more ambitious targets for emissions cuts at the Earth Day Climate Summit hosted by Biden, adding to the growing list of countries that have enhanced their decarbonization commitments since the 2015 Paris Agreement. Chinese authorities issued an updated catalogue of economic activities eligible to be financed by green bond issuance, known as the Green Bond Endorsed Projects Catalogue. The new catalogue completely excludes coal and other fossil fuels, even clean use of such fuels, from green activities, clearly signalling China's policy intention to direct capital raised from green bonds to support the transition away from fossil fuels and towards low-carbon projects. In Europe, government leaders have now reached an in-principle agreement on the European Climate Law, which targets a cut in net greenhouse gas emissions of 55% or more by 2030 from 1990 levels, and zero net emissions by 2050. Globally, the climate change threat in the not-so-distant future is exerting increasingly greater influence on how key policymakers and industry leaders make decisions. We expect to see climate-related political momentum continue in the coming months, with more policy announcements and commitments by the US, China and other major economies ahead of the UN Climate Change Conference in November. Bottom line. As policymakers worldwide continue to strengthen their response to the threat of climate change, new risks and opportunities are emerging for businesses and investors, including opportunities in renewable energy as well as decarbonization technologies such as carbon capture and storage. Overall, global efforts to pursue sustainable climate-resilient development paths and reduce the threat of climate change through emissions reduction and adaptation are likely to drive wide-ranging significant changes throughout society. Companies slow to anticipate and adjust to these changes risk being gradually sidelined by investors or, in the extreme, having their operating models upended. Those that adapt successfully will benefit from the reshaped economic landscape and enjoy more sustainable business prospects with a better chance to prosper.